Welcome Sagittarius. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using Soul Truth, Seven Oracle Energies and Energy Oracle Cards. Okay, so let us start with not those ones, but these ones, Soul Truth. Okay, so whoop, one fell out, but I'm not sure that was the right one. It'll come out if it needs to. Okay, so one. Two more cards for Sagittarius. Yep. Okay, there you go. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. So, it's really funny. I feel really, like, rushed. So, yeah, I don't know if some of you are. Anyway, what, okay, Sagittarius, what do you, oh, sorry. What do I believe about money? Do my beliefs match my dreams? That's the first card. Second card is, am I letting fear stop me? Third card is, what if it was easy? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Let's have a look. Sagittarius. How does your relationship with money affect your current situation? Do you believe you are worthy? Good question. Do you believe you are capable? Do you trust money? Does money trust you? Money is an energy. It ebbs and flows. You are worthy of it and it's your responsibility to heal your relationship with money as part of your waking up to the whole of you and your purpose. Your action that you need to take here, Sagittarius, is take a deep dive in your belief system around money. Are there any beliefs you need to upgrade to create the results you are wanting most in your life? Write out your money story. Is it time for a sacred shift? What will your next chapter be? Fill in the blank. I am oh, fill in the blank. I am grateful to money because. That's cool, man. That's really cool. I love that. And here's the thing, right? That I always feel like with money. Tell me more about this for Sagittarius, please. Um us like also think of this when you hear money is the root of all what's the first thing that comes to your mind right because if it's evil then that tells you your subconscious position on money because why wouldn't money be the root of all freedoms something to consider Okay, so tell me more about money for Sagittarius, please. Tell me more about money, money, money. And it's also looking at things like, how do you view rich people, right? I remember always wanting to own a mansion, right? And then there was a particular place that I lived and we would drive past a mansion quite often. And I'd look at it and the first thing that would pop in my head was imagine cleaning that thing right and it was like so contradictory to what I was potentially well you know supposedly saying that I wanted and I just caught myself in it one day and went well it's never going to happen is it so you know really yeah consider it right okay so let me pick this one up off the floor Okay, so we've got contract here. Okay, interesting. So I just wonder if some of you, whether some of you are feeling there's an imbalance in something. Um, maybe it's that you're not sure of what the contract entails in the bigger picture of things. Okay, um, so let's have a look at this contract for Sagittarius. Eepers, creepers. Okay, so root roots of abundance roots of abundance yeah um there was something that came up in a fucus's reading i can't remember what it was but i i'm gonna put it as the title of their um video so have a look at that because that i feel like is relevant here so you could even have a look at their video if you wanted. But Roots of Abundance, yeah, this is, you know, wanting to create the abundance, right? Where has this been growing from here? 
like what is actually the root of that that you're trying to grow because if it is the money is that money is the root of all evil then that's what you'll be growing subconsciously right so really really tapping into it okay um let it go let it go this could be something that you're tied to um to do with money there could be a contract that you don't want to let go of because maybe you're afraid that you're going to the scales will tip and it won't be evenly balanced but um it's really about looking at the beliefs that you hold around that for yourself okay we have rest and rejuvenation here um interesting yeah i feel like this is about you needing to center yourself in regards to money so that you can kind of start afresh maybe eliminate any beliefs that you have any negative beliefs that are there um potentially looking at meditations to clear those beliefs um because i feel like that will definitely serve a purpose for you okay we have a tall tale because this is the thing right we tell ourselves all sorts of stories true and untrue right and the majority of them are untrue especially when it comes to money i'm not worthy i don't deserve you know rich people are snobby um that you know stuck up or you know entitled um and then we go and play the lotto I'm like, i want to win some money and so why why when this is what you believe about people who are rich you know so yeah be very mindful um healing the heart okay okay so this could be especially let it go is this to do with a relationship that you've been in Sagittarius where you feel like things have not been even this could be ending a contract between another person, wrapping things up, letting things go. Yeah, letting endings take place that need to take place. Am I letting fear stop me? Are you experience a experiencing a mountain of fear right now? Are you stalling, freezing or giving up? The juicy secret is that you are the boss of fear. You are unstoppable. But it's up to you to see that by taking action. Okay, so the action is be brave and do it scared. Choose one fear and move through it. You are in need of a hero. So that is who you will become. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Go, Sagi. Righty, okay, so strategy this has come out strategy love it one more card yep <laughs> oh this is great okay strategy let's start with that first okay so you know this is sitting down putting pen to paper right writing out a strategy if you're afraid really work it out Okay, okay, what can be done here? What steps do I need to take? What action do I need to take in order to make this happen? In order to put my mind at ease? And yes, you may still walk into that scared, but at least you've got a strategy in place. And hey, if that doesn't work, write another st strategy, right? Doesn't mean it's set in stone. You can change it if you want, yeah? Tell me more about strategy for Sagittarius, please. And this doesn't even have to be in relation to money, although it could be. Um, you know, it could be in relation to anything, right? Okay, so we have a call of the muse here. Yeah, see, this is really opening up, I feel, and letting yourself loose. Letting yourself loose with things, because I feel like there's been this um, containment, in a sense of, um, there's just this feeling of restriction, and maybe that's been to do with money. So it could be working out a strategy as to how can I open this up for myself and bring more in. You know, um, if we're talking about money or any other area of your life, it could be love. You know, especially with Let It Go, we've got the heart here. Healing your heart, right? How can I let it go to bring more in here? Yeah? Endless possibilities. Endless possibilities. 
okay so yeah really truly knowing that that is you know there that the possibilities are endless they don't have to just end here they can go on and on and on you know and you can get excited about that to create more you know you have a strategy but that doesn't mean that's you know when you reach the goal that's the end there's so much more beyond that you know so keep going keep opening up keep those ideas flowing because that's what's going to build the momentum for you to bring in what it is that you want to bring in okay and know that you are limitless all right endless possibilities endless okay door to value look at this i love this door to value and i notice it's not open very far so i just wonder if this is this limit on yourself tell me more about door to value please for sagittarius nice awakening genius and feeling the world <clears throat> I feel like Sagittarius, this is you understanding your power to create, to manifest, and to receive. Because there seems to be this um, message here that you are much more than what you give yourself credit for. You have much more power. You have uh, loads more wisdom. Yeah, you can hold the world in your hands here. And create what it is that you want to create. I feel like it's a matter of you opening the door to the value of yourself. You know, that value here is kind of like putting a money value on yourself. And understanding that there is no value. There's, there's no end to that value. There's not actually, it can't be kept it can only grow okay that's how valuable you are i hope that made sense okay what if it was easy okay it doesn't have to be hard call in the universe the stars the angels and all their powers find the solution would you take the next step if it were easy it's time to expect ease call in grace and receive guidance you are supported. Your action that you need to take. List 10 possible ideals for your soul's current calling. Lean into ease. It's here. You just have to say yes to it. Let me read that again because I feel like I butchered that. List 10 possible ideals for your soul's current calling. Lean into ease. It's here. You just have to say yes. Maybe I didn't butcher it. But anyway. Didn't feel like it flowed. Okay. So tell me more about this please. It doesn't have to be hard. And this is the thing again. Right? As soon as we get in that vibration. We're putting a limit on it. It's like oh god it's going to be so hard. I'm not going to be able to do it. And you know righty right. And, and sure enough it will be. Because that's what we believe. Right? <clears throat> there's two cards come out there and I don't know which one to take we've got our first one here there's two again why? I want one if we have two come out again I'll take them but I really do want one here we go <clears throat> Sagittarius Happy family. Happy family. It doesn't have to be hard. Right? It doesn't have to be hard. If it's hard, look at this. Tell it. If it's hard, then call in the universe, the stars, the angels, and all their powers. Find the solution. Would you take the next step if it were easy? It's time to expect ease. Call in grace. And receive guidance. You are supported. Tell me more about Happy Family. For Okay, thank you. <clears throat> seeing beyond. Yeah, seeing beyond. Look at this. 
seeing the bigger picture, seeing what is possible, right? Really tapping in to your genius and seeing what can be done, seeing how this can be achieved, yeah? Um, we have the roses kiss, and this is reaching this beauty, right? Because sometimes we sit in the um, prick of the thorn and focus on that, yeah? But that is not what we want to focus on. We want to focus on the rose and the beauty of that. Because yes, there's going to be things. We, we live a human life. It's not all going to be perfect. It's not all going to be rainbows and unicorns. You know, there's going to be stuff. But when you look at the bigger picture, that is what you want to focus on. We have broken heart. This is not what we want to focus on. Sometimes this can hold us back. Maybe some of you have had that broken heart and that's what, what that fear is, right? <clears throat> beyond the ordinary. Yep, going beyond the ordinary, the power of purpose. What is the purpose? What was the purpose of this? Yeah, what did you learn? Have you healed? What did you learn during that healing? You know, really focusing on the bigger picture of things, okay? Beyond the ordinary, right? Seeing beyond the ordinary, okay? Because I tell you what, this when you can do that, you will be able to reach heights that you never, ever, ever dreamed were possible. Much further than what you could perceive. Okay, Sagittarius, so it's time for you to step into that now and do the work that you need to do. Okay, we've got three cards here that are giving you action to take. So take them in order to make this happen for yourself and take it seriously. Okay, because how, how serious you take this is how serious you take this transformation and this change in your life. Okay, Sagittarius, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.